Hi, good morning. Welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching this video. Um, in today's video, I want to share with you something different. Uh, I've always shared about, you know, places I go to, the food that I eat. I share with you about uh, the work that I do, which is tennis. Uh, today, I want to share with you something that is entirely different. Today, I want to share with you my journey uh, as a motorcyclist. So sometime last year, my son told me that he would like to get his hand on a Class 2B license. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar, in Singapore, to ride a motorcycle, uh, regardless of uh, 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 CC and all that, you need to get a license, right? And Class 2B allows you to ride a bike up to 200 CC and then they, has, uh, they, they have the Class 2A uh, allow you to ride bikes up to 400 CC and then finally you have a Class 2 which allows you to ride bikes of uh, any CC. So, uh, before you can take your 2A and 2, uh, you have to wait one year. You have to wait one year after you pass your 2B, you can go for your 2A, and then after one year again, after you pass your 2A, you can go for your class 2, so on and so forth. Uh, I have been driving since 1990, so that's like 34 years of, of, of driving experience, right? So my son told me that he want to get his hand on a 2B license and uh, asked me whether it is okay. Uh, not only did I say it is okay, I told him, let's do it together. So at age 53, um, I sort of started learning how to ride a bike. I mean, I know how to ride a bike. I mean, when I was younger and all that, you know, we, we, we try to ride our friend's bike and all that. So I, I am quite familiar with uh, uh, motorcycles uh, in, a, in a way. And then uh, when I'm overseas, like when I'm in Thailand and all Phuket, Krabi and all that, I, I, I usually rent a bike, a small bike, yeah, to uh, commute around. So, uh, and I do cycle. So motorcycle to me is pretty similar, lah, you know, uh, not much different. So I decided uh, that I'll join my son on the Class 2B uh, learning journey. So we signed up for the Class 2B course at CDC and then uh, started taking lessons and all that. Uh, I did pretty well. Uh, there were eight practical lessons, I think. I only had to repeat my lesson 5 and lesson 8 and the rest of the lesson uh, I passed first time so uh, I consider that quite good uh, huh? and then I also uh, passed first attempt uh, on the TP test which is the final test before you get your license so I'm pretty happy uh, I I remember I got my license on the, or I passed my test on the 15th of November and then one week later after I attended a, uh, a mandatory uh, expressway familiarization course, uh, I received my license uh, to ride a class 2B motorcycle. And then, the very next day, I went to rent a motorcycle. Uh, remember, it was a Honda ADV 150. So I rented that bike for a week. They had a promotion for a week rate. So I rented it for a week. Uh, I think the place I rented it from was advanced auto or something like that anyway thanks to those guys uh, uh, I have a very good experience renting the bike and all that no no hassle whatever very easy um, 
so I had a, a, the bike for a week and during that week I was riding and riding like nobody's business I even went to JB once on my own and then on the second last day before I returned that bike I did a one full day ride uh, in uh, Gelang Pata in JB Uh, one full day, one full day from morning until evening. Um, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. Uh, it was a good bike, uh, but because I was new and all that, uh, I wasn't going that fast. Uh, maybe about 70, 80. Uh, uh, but it was a lot of fun, right? And then after I returned the bike, uh, for the next two days, I kind of have like withdrawal symptoms, you know, like uh, I feel like I need to ride, you know, I feel, I feel there's a craving to ride a bike. So after much looking around and, and much consideration and all that, I decided that I would like to get my own bike, all right, so I, I went to look around did a lot of research, watch a lot of YouTube videos on bikes and all that. And then it was down to, uh, firstly, it was down to a scooter, an automatic scooter. The reason why I wanted a scooter was because it was very easy. Basically, you just trotter and then you go, right? And I'm used to having brakes on both sides because of my cycling. And then the, the hassle of changing gears uh, <coughs> was uh, a bit too much for my kind of riding. I mean, I'm not going for like performance bikes, you know, where you want to ride fast and you need a lot of power and all that. And plus it is a class 2B, uh, even if you have a, a, a manual transmission bike, uh, I don't think it's going to make that much a difference. But in terms of comfort, uh, ease of use uh, and hassle-free uh, I think an automatic scooter is definitely uh, my choice uh. so I was looking around and it was down to three bikes the ADV 160 from Honda the Yamaha NMAX and then uh, oh actually it's four uh, the Vespa uh, 150 GTS and then, uh, this fella, the Aprilia GT200. So, um, I tested all the bikes. And uh, eventually, I went for this fella, which is the Aprilia. Because there was a promo. Plus, out of all the bikes, I really liked the look on, on, on this guy and uh, it was between the Vespa and this and then I realized that even though the Vespa has a very nice classic look and all that and, and, and I've always wanted a Vespa I realized that it does have limitations like uh, it is not very suitable for long distance in my opinion eh? not very suitable for very long distance riding and it also wouldn't be very competent on slightly uh, off-road conditions uh. so I needed something that has the capability of city riding have the capability of uh, occasional off-road riding or off the beaten track uh. and then most importantly, I wanted something that is very suitable for uh, touring. I because I do see myself riding up north, uh, uh, to Malaysia or even to Thailand, uh, uh, quite often. So finally, because of the uh, specs, the characteristic, the look. The functionality of the bike 
and finally the price of the bike because they were they were having a promo and uh, I went for this fella so ever since I got this bike uh, I have been riding it almost every day every single day uh, I have done no less than 10 JB rides uh. Uh, pump petrol, going for makan, shopping or whatnot, you know, and then come back. Uh, I have done a solo Dizaru ride uh, all by myself because one day I, 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 I didn't have work uh, for two days. I didn't know where to go, what to do. It was a really impromptu decision, you know. Then I decided hey, why not go to Dizaru, which is quite nearby. And so I started doing some research and all that about, you know, how to ride, how was the ride, is it dangerous, what not, where to stay. So I set off the next day in the morning uh, and, and got into Dizaru. By the time I reached Dizaru, it was uh, lunch, lunch timer. Eh? I, I reached there in about... I, I rode quite slowly, uh, I didn't want to ride very fast. I reached there in about three hours. Uh. So by the time I got there, it was uh, lunch. And then uh, I went to visit the uh, fruit farm. And then my hotel was just less than one kilometer away. So after the fruit farm, I checked in, I went out for lunch. Uh, then I went to the beach. beach, right, and stayed there until dinner time, went for dinner, you know, and then next day, uh, uh, I rode around Dizaru a bit, and then I head back uh, to Singapore, but I stopped by JB uh, uh, for, for, for meals and all that, and then back to Singapore, so I did that all by myself. Uh, it was a very fulfilling trip. Uh. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, and then I also did a Malacca trip with a neighbor. This neighbor, uh, I only got to know uh, just before I took my test uh, that he just passed his 2B one week prior to my test. So he is also a newbie. Uh. Uh, this guy is in his uh, late 40s uh, and uh, then we, we became uh, best riding buddy ever since. Uh. So one day I suggested to him that we should go for a Malacca trip and he agreed. So we went on a Malacca trip. We stayed in Malacca for a night and then came back the next day. <coughs> and we visited many places along the way. A uh, very, very enjoyable ride. We were talking to each other uh, using the intercom system on our, in our helmet. And uh, very enjoyable and, and, and good company, good food. It was a great experience. Yeah, so I, I have done the Zaru, Malacca and all this uh, all within all within the first six weeks after I passed my uh, 2B license all within six weeks uh, Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it and I do see myself riding more even uh, this year but I want to join uh, more group rides. Uh. So I have decided to join several group rides uh, organized by the group uh, Tamba Overlanders uh, that they're organizing in 2024. And uh, I look forward to it. Uh. Some short rides, uh, one that's going up to Genting, another one that's going up to Thailand. <coughs> the only issue is the Thailand ride. Uh, requires you to have a, a bigger bite. Nah. So I'm still trying to sort out how, how that's going to work out. Uh, hopefully they'll allow me to join. Nah. 
Uh, hopefully I can find a bigger bike uh, uh, when I'm in Malaysia. I'm thinking of renting a bigger bike when I'm in Malaysia or something. I don't know. But anyway, that's my uh, that's my motorbike journey since I passed and got my license in November on November 15, 2023. And uh, I look forward to more adventures on my bike and I also look forward to taking my class 2A uh, at the end of the year that's one year after I get my 2B license uh. so that's it that's my that's that's the that's all I want to share uh, in this video I'll be sharing more videos on my rides and all that uh, in the near future lah. And uh, yeah, so just to let everybody who is thinking about getting a 2B license and all that, you are never too old to get one. You're never too old uh, to go and realize your dream. And you're never too old to have fun. So uh, go ahead. If you are thinking of getting a 2B license and ride a bike, uh, don't hesitate. Life is short, you know, so make the fullest use of it. Lah. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.